Hi, my name's Steve Mareska from Body by Jake, and this is the Tower Express Full Body Workout. Now, for this workout, a couple things. First, you want to make sure that your pulleys are at the bottom of the door and you have your hand grips. And then there's one more thing. Be ready to go. It's about a seven-minute workout, so we're in and out, full body. We've got to get ourselves warmed up first, though. So what we want to do is we want to do something I call the kayaker. Kind of get that core nice and warmed up there. All right, here we go. Nice and easy rotation. Start getting your mindset. What I want you to think about, what do you want to start seeing in your body? So more stronger arms, stronger core. Let's go one more. Beautiful legs. We're bringing it to you. Squat to press is our next movement. Looks like that. Here we go. Now, please notice on my squat to press, chest is up nice and high, and I'm looking straight forward. Fingers wide. Good. Let's go one more of those. And relax. All right, one more thing. Jumping jacks, 10 reps, and we're going. Here we go. Now, my jumping jacks, I want nice and dynamic. Get them wide. Get that blood, get that mindset. No distractions. In and out. Let's go one more. And relax. All right, here we go. First movement, called the chest fly. Now, what we're gonna do in this workout, I'm gonna show you at once, and then we're gonna go for 20 seconds. So no rep count, we're going 20 seconds. Here it is, nice and easy, chest up high, and then come down. All right, here we go, 20 seconds. Now, what I want you to think about is the front part of that shoulder and your chest. There's a slight bend in my elbow, keep my elbow safe. It's time for those tank tops, all right? Taking off the shirt for the guys this summer, good hit. One more of those, squeeze it, squeeze it at the top, and down. Okay, next movement, we're gonna do a bicep alternating curl. So, it's gonna look like this, right here, and here. Let's start it. On this bicep curl, what I want you to notice is my shoulders. There's no movement going on in my shoulders. I'm isolating my bicep, that's the end of my range of motion. I want you to have those beautiful arms you've always wanted. The tower's gonna help you do that. Let's go one more each side. There's one flex, and then, oh, flex again. All right, next movement. Bring the bands up top. You're gonna squat to alternating shoulder press. Squat down, press, then the other side. Press, all right, here we go. Give me that good squat. Remember, full body, get those legs involved. This is also great for your core because the pulleys are pulling you back with those power cords towards the door, so I have to stabilize myself. Good shoulder work. There we go. You know what? I need one more each side. Let's go. There. I know you want one. And relax. Okay, keep them up here. What I want to do is bring my arms behind my head. We're going to do a tricep extension. Looks just like that. And relax. All right, here we go. Nice and easy. Full extension at the top. I always hear it. My bottom of my arm keeps waving after I shake it. Shake my arm. Not anymore. Extend and make them tight. Good. Let's go two more. No more waving with the bottom of my arm. And relax. Bring it down nice and easy. Now this next movement I call it the Dean. It's one of my favorites. For your core and your shoulders. So you're gonna drive through with one arm, then immediately drive through with the other. Here we go, ready? Drive, drive. Now notice, nice and controlled. There's no movement in my legs or my hips. That makes my core work more. Good. Chest is working, shoulders are working. This really brings that beautiful tone. Let's go one more each side. One and another. And relax. Squat down and put those handles down. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn and face the door. The movement I'm gonna do here now is for my back and also my obliques. It's called close grip row. So palms are facing each other. All right, I'm gonna just row to one side oh, and then the other. Deep breath in, let's go. Now what I want you to notice on this movement is that my shoulder blades are staying down. My shoulder's not up in my ear. That'll make sure that we really isolate our back and we keep our shoulders safe and our neck safe. Good. Let's go one more each side. There's one and there's another one. It's okay to take a good breath if you need to. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step to the side, rear delt movement, Step to the other side, rear delt movement. All right, here it is. Step, rotate. Now what's so great about this movement, I'm getting flexibility in my hip, I got my rear delt working, and I also have my obliques. So good full body movement. 
Let's go one more each side. Full body right there. And relax. Deep breath in. Now watch what I do with my arms here. I'm going to bring them out in front of me. I'm going to do something called a hammer curl. Palms are facing each other. Hammer curl there. Hammer curl there. No movement in my shoulders. Here we go. Now because I've just changed the hand position, I'm now targeting my bicep a little differently. And because we're only in here seven minutes, about seven minutes, we're gonna make sure that we attack our body in many different ways. Good hit. One more. And I'm going another one, I'm sorry. And relax. All right, next movement, I call it upright row. Chest up high, and here we go. Right there, all right, start it. Now, I just said that we wanna train our body in many different ways. That way, you're burning more calories, you're gonna see more out of your body in a shorter amount of time. Okay, so shoulder blades together, this is great. Bring that nice cut in that shoulder. Remember, sleeveless dress or no shirt. Last one right here, and relax. Leaning forward, deep breath in, flat back, elbows come to my side. We're gonna do the tricep kickback right there. All right, here it is, go. Now, notice, I'm not looking up forward. That's where my neck gets in trouble. Keep my head down, and then that back part of the arm. Remember, we're not waving with the back part of our arm anymore. Wave with our hand right there. Good, let's go one more. I want you to show those arms off and relax. Now from here, I want you to put this one down, one hand grip down. See the beads of sweat, I'm with you. All right, here we go. We're gonna go dot trail, it looks like this. Nice and easy. One point, two point, third point. Here it is. Bam, bam. Now what you're doing here is you're working your shoulder, those obliques, all right? And it's also very sport specific as well. Meaning if you like to play tennis, baseball, golf, let's see that again. Tennis log, baseball hit, golf swing. All right, let's move to the other side. I think that's what's so fun. You're able to do functional training here as well in this workout. Here it is. Top, middle, low. Obliques, shoulder, shoulder, right there. All coming into play. Hot, you. Hope you notice the beads of sweat. Let's go one more time, each position. I told you I'm gonna work with you. And relax. Here, do a good breath. You take a good breath at home as well. Last movement you have to do, we're gonna do one on each side. It's called a lunge to punch. So I'm gonna lunge forward, punch straight forward. There it is, lunge, punch. Here we go, come on. Now we're here, I'm working right through my obliques. I'm working that leg, and I'm also working that shoulder, and also that tricep. Very dynamic movement. One more, here we go. And relax. Let's put that handle down. Go to the other side. Ready? And step, punch. Right away, right into that 20 seconds. Let's go. Now, I feel it a little different on either side, and you might have at home as well. What that means is you have a dominant side of your body. So what's great about doing this movement, forces you to work on that side that's not so easy to do the movement. All right, here, let's go one more. And relax. Woo, yes, here it is. About seven minutes, took care of the whole program. Fired up on you. But we wanna cool ourselves down a little bit. What I want you to do is I just want you to lean aside because we really hit those obliques, all right? Nice, good reach. Excellent job today. And then you're gonna come back middle, reach to the sky. Now what I want you to ask yourself, hey, that no, was too easy, seven minutes is over. We can throw it back in and do it again. Or let's lean to the other side. You can put more resistance on that. Remember, you have a light and heavy resistance with the tower express. All right. Hey, fired up, beads of sweat, full body, cardiovascular up. Just do me this, remember, train hard, train smart, and make it happen.